A drive up through the town of Gerik lay one of Malaysia's best kept secrets, the Royal Balloon Forest Reserve. It would be our sanctuary from Malaysia's blistering summer heat. Open to visitors in 2008, it is slowly gaining recognition as the ecotourism destination of choice in the peninsula. A great place to stay coupled with an admirable vision put into action, as Royal Balloon Forest Reserve believes staunchly in the conservation of its unique wildlife and local culture. Today, it is the second largest forest reserve in Malaysia, covering an area of about 117,500 hectares, stretching from upper to lower balloon. At the middle of this sprawling forest is the Balloon Rain Forest Resort on Bunding Island, the jump-off point of our travel. The Balloon Rain Forest Resort is the best resort you'll find in the area and is currently the only resort with guides licensed to take guests through Balloom's vast forest trails. With walking and biking trails plus campsites throughout Balloom, it offers a complete outdoor adventure. Wait, I don't know. <laughs> Hello! How are you doing there? Great. There are many things you can do in Royal Balloon. You can go on a hiking trail, you can go on a biking trail. Hell, you can even go and swim in the lake. Arriving there early in the day, our adventure kicks off on a speedboat to the islands around Demengor Lake, the second largest man-made lake in all of Malaysia. Suffice to say, what we thought were islands were in fact mountains that rose as high as 1,400 meters above sea level. Being told that Balloon Valley is home to an elusive but expansive wildlife, we were excited and hopeful to see some of them firsthand. First up, the Salt Lake Trail. Are we going to see any elephants? With that hope in mind, we trudged on through mud, grass and, of course, dung. Regretfully, there weren't any elephants, but if we had any doubts, they were here. Those quickly disappeared after a whiff of their leftovers. If there's anything I don't like getting <laughs> fresh, it's dung. <laughs> Salt licks are natural sources of minerals, like salt, that provide animals with valuable nutrients to supplement their diet. It is nature's vitamin cocktail. Nothing much to look at, I agree. Just a large chunk of stone littered by the elephant's after party. But how it looks is far less important than its ecological value. If humans would eat that, what would happen? Nothing. <laughs> if you taste it, feel like an uh, alkaline. The honest truth is, wild animals in these parts are hard to come by, given the rush of noisy tourists. But they do leave some markings that suggest they had passed here. Our guides were keen on picking up the trail. From baby elephant paws to Malaysian sun bear claw marks and wild boar tracks, local guides not only knew the way, but the trail left behind by the wild. Royal Balloom is home to a vast array of plant life as well. From wild ginger to sandalwood, our guides took us on an educational trip around the park's flourishing flora. Uh, the Malay call it Tongkat Ali. How to recognize it is easy because it's back the leaf and then open it, still okay. Medicine to make the blood circulation is goes more smoother. Eat a medicine. If I eat it? Are you serious? You can buy it. Wild man. Hmm? It does. Mm. Minty. Mm hmm. Mm. 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 <laughs> no, I swallowed it already. It's bitter. Yeah. By lunch, our souls were in search of some natural comforts. A cool dip in the water was just what we needed. Finally, a little time to slow down and relax in the embraces of nature. This is nasi goreng or fried rice. Nasi is rice, goreng is fried. No, fried. Probably swimming over there. Different kind of thing. How was it? 
high school. Under the shade of the forest canopy, new friends were made as butterflies lingered around the Sengai Karte River. Wow, you're like friends with that guy. What's the name of this river? Uh, this river is Sungai Karte. Sungai. Sungai. Karte. Karte. There's also the, the tribe that resides in this area. What do you call that? Two tribes. One, two Mia. Yeah, the other one is Jahai. Jahai. So let's do that again. There are two tribes in Balloon. One is the Dermia and the other one is the Jihai. And they're, in a way, the guardians of Balloon. There's another one. The one we're going to visit later. Orang Hasi is the common name. Of the Orang Hasi. Of yes. most of the tribes. Most the of the tribes. They call it Orang Hasi. Over lunch, they excitedly shared with me stories of the Orang Asli, a shy people who had been in these forests for centuries. With a diverse system of animal and plant life hidden under miles of diptocarp forests, Royal Balloon is in its own right a truly majestic place. A paradise, it seems, for the equally enigmatic Orang Asli. Coming up, Perak the Orang Asli Way.